At the beginning of the series, we are told that in the future, a big war broke out between humans about their religion. On one side was Mithraic, they believed in souls and believed in their words. On the other side were the atheists, according to them, they do not believe in any religion or anything related to it. Humans had also taken the help of robots along with modern weapons in this battle. Due to this, a lot of destruction took place in the world. After destroying the world, the people of Mithraic set out in search of another planet. So this was the beginning part of this story. In the beginning, we are shown two robots, which are called father and mother, and both of these robots were sent on the Kepler 22B spaceship. While landing the spaceship, their ship was about to fall into a pit, but before it fell, both of them took out their belongings from it. After which the mother comes here on the planet and gives birth to six children. All the children belong to different generations. These two robots make their small society here and start living here, by growing space radishes, meaning alien radishes. Looking at them, it seemed that, they had come here to find the planet and make a society of humans. These two robots wanted to keep the coming generations away from religion, meaning these two robots were mother-father atheists, who did not believe in anything. Because they wanted that in the coming generations, there will be no difference of religion, nor will they fight each other, and their thinking will also be different from all. These two robots also knew that they would die very soon, their system would be shut down soon. They just wanted that before they die, they had to make a real atmosphere on the ground here, so that the coming generations can live without them. They should not have any kind of trouble with religion or anything else. That's why they tell their children about farming, building a house, and also about the evils of religion so that their children will always remain atheists. One day, their daughter gets lost on the way. The father and mother felt that their daughter fell into a pit, and then slowly all their children start dying. Only one of their sons was left alive, whose name was Campion. One day, the father robot looks at the spaceship in the sky, which was of Mithraic. He tries to get his spaceship out of the pit and tries to contact it. Because he felt that the robot mother would be destroyed soon. And if he has to save his son Campion, then he will have to hand him over to the people who believe in Mithraic, but there was a weak rope there, so the father and Campion could not remove the spaceship. These people decide that the next day they will come and try to remove the spaceship. The mother robot finds out that, Campion and the father are going to do something wrong together. When she shouts at Campion, he tells her the whole truth, he tried to take help from humans at the behest of the father. Hearing this, she gets very angry at the father. That's why she goes to the father and asks him. So he was talking to her strangely, so the mother robot gets angry. And in anger, she removes the system that was supposed to stop the father and stops it. Now as soon as Campion finds out, he sends a signal to humans with the help of that spaceship. After which the mothers break down, that is, her system was also going to be destroyed. Seeing this, Campion sleeps outside with his mother. The next day, the Mithraic group comes to them, including a man named Marcus. Actually, Mithraic people wanted to find their healer. Looking at Campion, he feels that he is the only child, who will solve all the problems related to religion and will become their healer. They all make a plan here that the robot they have brought with them, with its help, after putting the mother aside, they'll take Campion with them. But they find out very soon that the mother was not an ordinary robot, but she was a dangerous machine that flew and killed people. With her dangerous supersonic voice, she quickly kills all the Mithraic and reaches Marcus's spaceship. And she throws Marcus away from that spaceship. And now she attacks his other spaceship from his spaceship. But she was in some other form. If the mother wants, she could change her form. She attacked the spaceship, killed everyone and brought their children with her to her planet. There, Campion, and Marcus, who were helpless, was watching the spaceship being destroyed in the sky. The mother brings five new children from that spaceship with her, and makes Campion meet those children. Now, the story goes from here to the past. It is shown to us that when the war broke out in 2145, two atheist soldiers killed the real Marcus and his wife and took their form. And then later they joined the group of Mithraic. That is, the one who came to Marcus's mother was the real atheist. The story comes back to the mother. She killed that robot that the people of Mithraic had brought with them. In fact, the real power of the mother was in her eyes. And in this way, now she takes out the system of that robot and puts it inside the father. Because of this, he was also alive again. When Campion sees his father again, he becomes very happy. Then all these people eat together with their new family. 
in which those children were also included, whom the mother had brought with her from another planet. There, Marcus tied himself with a rope, and was warming his body at the edge of the pit so that he could get peace. While eating, the mother explains to all her new children, that no one will talk about religion here, and no prayer. Among these five new children, Marcus's son was also included. That means he was with the mother. She tells the truth of her eyes to the father, that she has power in her eyes, and that's why she has hidden her real eyes. Campion likes a pet rat very much that Marcus's son has. Marcus's son did not want to give it to him, but still, he gives the rat to Campion at the behest of another boy. When Campion tells all the children that all his siblings died before he came, and somewhere the reason for their death is the mother, who killed them all with her own strength, and about whom she herself does not know. There all the children start praying there. Campion was stopping them from doing this, as soon as the mother robot finds out about Campion's pet rat. So she gets angry at him, and asks to return the rat to whom it belonged, means Marcus's son, and that's why Campion returned the rat. There was a girl in these children who was about to become a mother. The mother soon finds out about that girl that she is about to become a mother, and here we also find out about the mother. After seeing anyone, she knows the truth inside them. That's why she keeps that girl away from all the children now. That girl says that this child is not of my choice. A man living with me in the church did much wrong to me. I don't want this child. Mother says okay you don't want. Whatever the wrong had to do with you is now done. But this child has no fault. Why do you want to do wrong with him? The girl was surprised to see this form of the mother. One night the alien wild animals attack them. That's when the mother also finds out that someone has stolen her eyes. The mother only suspected the father because he had only told the father about it. But Campion was involved in this. Anyway, on finding out, the father gives the eyes back to the mother. And the mother puts those eyes in which have the power inside. She kills all the animals with its help. Those animals also attack the girl who was about to become a mother. But she escapes from them. Both the father and the mother were very surprised that, after 12 years they found out that someone else is also living there. Because they had been on this planet for 12 years while living here, and during this time they had not seen any such animal or anything. But those animals now attack Marcus and drop him in the pit. But because of the rope being tied, he escapes, and then the soldiers of the Mithraic group come and save him. Now after this incident, all the children were very scared. That's why they all wanted to go from here. But the mother points to that girl and says no, we will not go anywhere now, because now a baby is going to be born. Hearing this, all the children start looking at her. In this story, we have been told one more thing. That the journey of Kepler-22 planet is 13 years from the Earth. In the meantime, everyone is kept in hibernation. That is, they are given a long sleep. But in this sleep, their body is sleeping. That they can talk to everyone with their brain. When Marcus comes to his senses, he asks his wife about his son. She tells that our son is in the custody of the mother. On the other hand, one of the children who were with the mother tells everyone. These two robots are lying to us. That there are wild animals here. They just want to scare us and keep us here. So that we can't go anywhere from here. That's when Campion also remembers. That even before, the mother had told the same story and kept them here. The boy who was explaining everything here before. Now he talks to the girl who was about to become a mother. He says that you should name your child on the man who has this child. But the girl slaps him after hearing this. Due to this, the boy's mouth starts bleeding. And slowly all the children get sick there. Campion also felt that the mother is taking the lives of her children. On the other hand, the mother who was worried about her children. She comes in the form of an alien robot from the spaceship, and goes to take some medicines from there. So that she can save her children's lives. It was clear that the mother was not taking the lives of her children. On the other hand, all the Mithraic who were left in the spaceship. When they see the mother, they go inside the ground and hide. Marcus tells his companions that I think any atheist has made the program of this robot. That's why she has become our enemy. Anyway, when the mother was going back with the medicines from there, she faces a Mithraic robot. But the mother kills that robot very easily. On the other hand, Campion deceives the father and runs away with all the children. Seeing her in the form of a mother robot, it seemed that she would kill everyone. Marcus and his wife had found out everything. That the mother had come here to take medicines. This means all the children are still alive. Now they just had to convince their leader and go out to look for the children. On the other hand, 
the children were taken away, by Campion along with him through the forest. One of them, Marcus's son, hears the voice of a girl. She was the one who was the daughter of the mother. And she was lost while roaming. But everyone knew that she was dead. But from where her voice was coming now, and this voice separates him from all the children. He hangs in a pit. After sitting in the spaceship, the father soon finds out the location of the children. That where are the children? That's why he quickly brings those children back home. Here the father finds out one more thing. That the reason for the death of the children is not the mother, but the space radishes, which they had grown here by farming. Those poisonous radishes were affecting everyone. But the surprising thing was that they had no effect on Campion. There an alien animal attacks Campion. But at the right time, the father came and imprisoned that animal in a hut. The mother who was looking for medicines. She had found Marcus's son. In the desert, we are shown that Mithraic finds a big stone buried there. Looking at its shape, they all think that it is very special. It must have been made for some special purpose. Seeing the heat coming out of that stone, everyone starts bowing to it and worshipping it. It means that those who believed Mithraic were on the right path. The father tells his son Campion, I want to kill that wild animal to feed my children. Which he had locked in the hut. But Campion says that first, we should try to find something else. It is not good to kill animals in this way. That's why they go to the jungle to find other vegetables. But they don't get anything. The mother is shown who had removed all the lockets from all the children. She melts them and makes a fine weapon. She takes out the tracking device from all the new children. With the help of which Marcus, his wife and Mithraic were looking for all the children. Because of this, they were not able to find out anything. There a robot comes and attacks Marcus. He also finds out that this is the work of his leader, because he had a doubt on Marcus and his wife, that these two are associated with atheists, but he just wanted to kill Marcus. Because his wife was the only doctor in his group, who knew about medicines, that's why the leader just wanted to kill Marcus, their campion was going to free that animal, who was caught by the father, but then the father comes there. On this action of Campion, both the robots think, that this goodness of their son Campion, can put them in very big trouble someday. The father explains to the children, look, we are alive today, and not tomorrow. That's why you will have to learn to kill. You should know how to fight. One girl also tries to kill that alien animal after hearing this. But out of fear, she runs away with all the children. Mother used to go to the hibernation pod and sleep here every day which she had hidden from everyone in the jungle, from which she could go to her old memories. There, Marcus's plan to kill his leader was completed, because the first leader wanted to kill him. But now Marcus had killed his leader, he burns him with the help of the fire of the same stone and turns it into ash. Looking at him, everyone thinks that there is something wrong with this stone, and everyone goes and clings to it. Marcus's wife was also surprised, he tells his wife that I heard a strange voice that told me to do all this. The voice of a soul? His wife is surprised to hear all this. After this whole incident, the people of Mithraic now make Marcus their leader. On the other hand, the girl who was going to become a mother. After getting rid of hunger, with the fine weapon of the mother that she had made, with its help, she kills that alien animal, which was kept by the father. By killing him, all the children were eating the meat of that animal, except for Campion and Marcus's son. While searching for the spaceship, Marcus also meets the man. Who did wrong to that girl who was going to become a mother. She lived with her mother. They catch him. Marcus says that we will use this man against the mother. While roaming outside, Campion and Marcus's son see the alien animal. They were eating the fungus in the pits to stay alive. They think that if the fungus is good for them, then why not for humans? That's why they also start collecting that fungus for themselves which was not even poisonous for them. Here the man who was caught by Marcus, he says that he did all the work at the behest of the soul. All these things seemed very strange to Marcus. Now because Marcus had also become the leader of Mithraic, a girl was trying to get along with him a lot. There, the mother goes to sleep in the hibernation pod and goes back to her old memories. And finally, we find out who the mother was, and who sent her here. The mother was also a robot working for Mithrai, but an atheist kidnapped her and reprogrammed her, and changed the things inside her again. This man was originally from Mithraic. But he rebelled against his religion, and he also loved his mother. He changed the mother into a robot serving humans, and he also made the father robot. 
and told both of them to go to Kepler-22 and make an atheist society. He had erased all her old memories before sending the mother, because he did not want the next person to consider him as God, his healer. Everything was somehow related to the mother, because the next generation had to run from the children born by the mother. The mother remembers all the memories and comes to her house again. So that girl tried to die by eating poison, who was about to become a mother. The mother makes her vomit and saves her, and says that nothing will happen now. I will not let anyone die, no matter what I have to do. The tracking device that the mother had thrown away from the children. Someone gets it. And that man takes it with him. But Mithraic was getting a signal from that device. That's why they reached that unknown man while following him. But that man disappears after doing a strange big jump. It means he was not an ordinary person. Here is where Marcus gets the map of this place. And everyone makes a plan to find the mother. He also sees very big skulls of animals there. In the morning, Marcus finally finds the mother's camp with the help of that map. Later in the story, it is shown that the mother, used to go to the hibernation pod in the jungle every day. She used to go to her old memories. The hidden Marcus and the father also think about this. Where does the mother go every day? Marcus tells his wife that we will have to get our son from the mother, and we will tell him everything honestly. We are not your real parents. But Marcus's wife does not like this idea at all. She says, will you tell him that we killed your real parents? Marcus says that if we have to save our son, then we will have to kill the mother robot. Because if she remains alive, she will never let us meet our son. Marcus and his team go to the jungle, to find out what the mother robot does for so many hours. When a boy goes to collect wood to burn, he gets an empty box of food. He comes and tells his other companion. Now both of them understood that a living person is keeping an eye on them. On the other hand, Campion and Marcus's son were playing a game with the mother. Campion takes hours to solve the puzzle. On the other hand, Marcus's son solves it immediately. Because of this, Campion was jealous of him. In the jungle, Marcus's wife gets that pod, in which the mother used to go to her old memories. Marcus looks at it and says that this will be the right time. When we can kill the mother. Because after going into this, she goes to sleep very deeply. And in the meantime, we can kill her. We will blow her body with a bomb. There in the camp, the mother sees the drawing of that girl, who had lost her way and died. But the mother does not understand anything. That the drawing she had made was resembling her old memories. She now felt that maybe there is someone behind her, who wants to know about her. He is following her. Poor son of Marcus. He was tired of eating fungus. He also wanted to eat the meat of the alien animal. But he could not kill anyone by himself. On this, Campion gets angry at him. Says, why can't you do this job? And starts killing him. When the father sees that Campion is killing Marcus's son. Then he takes him to his mother. The mother explains to him that problems do not solve in this way. By raising a hand on someone and killing someone. But Campion gives him the opposite answer and goes away and says, Mom, it would be good if you do not say all this. After his departure, the mother inquires from the father, that this is not the father who is following him. But the father was not. That's why the mother herself finds out about it, and goes and inquires from the computer in her hibernation pod. She finds out that there is a virus, which was pulling her towards her old memories. She goes back to deep sleep and finds out everything. Then the people of Marcus come there and plant bombs all around her and a man stands in front of her with a mirror, so that the mirror can control all the powers of the mother for a while. But none of this happens. All the plans of the people of Marcus were ruined. Because of which the mother also comes to her senses, and kills everyone here and runs to get her children. There Marcus's wife attacks the mother's camp with her companions. The father quickly saves all his children, takes them to a safe place and hides. But Marcus's wife had found her son. There a child tells the people of Mithraic the place where the father is hiding. With which they also attack the father. But the mother had also come. It takes a long time for her to come. The father was badly injured. Marcus's wife introduces her son to his dad. That is, to Marcus. But Marcus says here, Son, go back now. Mother is alive. So that's why you have to go back to the mother robot. And have to steal her eyes. All the powers of the mother are present in it. His son now does the same. After going to the mother's camp, when he was running away after stealing her eyes. On which now Marcus attacks her, and beats her a lot. He was just about to kill the mother. Then he hears a voice, leave the mother, let her go. Leave the mother alive, that's why he now catches her alive. 
Marcus had imprisoned the mother robot in a hut, and also locks up Campion. When Marcus goes to the mother, then she tells him, do I know you are not the real Marcus? She scans everything by looking at Marcus's face. There, Mithraic, by catching the friend's father and reprogramming him, by bringing changes to it, they make him their servant. Mithraic were considering Campion their healer. They believed that Campion would be the child, which will end all their problems. That's why they had caught him. On the other hand, the girl who was about to become a mother, she goes to Campion, and says that you pretend to be a liar, in front of the people of Mithraic. That you believe in religion, and whatever they are saying is all true. On the one hand, Marcus's son was building a house. When the people of Mithraic see him, they think. This child could be our healer. But according to their religion, their healer will be such, who doesn't have anyone in his world. But those people did not know. That Marcus's son was also an orphan. He also had no one in this world. That the real Marcus and his wife were dead. Now the fake Marcus was fed up with the mother's words. And at the same time, he was hearing voices, which was strange. That's why after being tired, he pushes his son. That is, Marcus's son. After all, why did the soul want to keep the mother robot alive? Or did he want to? There, when the people of Mithraic started the rituals to make Campion their healer. When Campion sees the graves of his siblings, those stones. So he doesn't know what happens. That's why he runs away from there. But the father had caught him. And locks him again because the father's program had changed. He was working for Mithraic. When Marcus's wife finds out that Marcus raised his hand on his son, then she gets very angry. Marcus also gets the same fine weapon from the mother's camp, which she had made herself, because Marcus had seen him in his thoughts too. But Marcus now wanted to take his mother to a secret place. On the way, Marcus also has a companion. Mother wanted to tell him that this man is not their leader, but an imposter of the atheist. The real Marcus is dead but that man trusted his leader a lot, and doesn't listen to anything. The captured Campion again hears the voice of the same little girl, who was dead, who was telling him to look out the window. Where are mother and father? Marcus was taking the mother somewhere, and that girl also follows them now, who was about to become a mother, whom mother had made her daughter. Marcus's plan was to drop mother in a pit and kill her. He thought that by doing this, he might not hear the voices, but he hears the voice again. Leave mother don't kill her. Then the father who was in the custody of Mithraic, drops mother in that pit, but he also grabs the rope with one of his fingers and saves him. Marcus's voice had now changed into thoughts, he was seeing himself in his real form in the imagination, and he hurts himself in these thoughts. Taking advantage of this, mother also came out of the pit, and tells the father that I will definitely save myself and your children. Saying this, she leaves from there. Marcus was still hearing voices here, let mother go leave her. It is important for her to stay alive. Marcus had gone crazy with these voices. There Marcus's wife was collecting the meat of an alien animal to eat. She wanted to take her child and go from there. But then the father brings the injured Marcus there. Marcus who was very injured. He tells that Mithraic's healer is no one else. In fact, I am myself. These voices have told me, which come into my ears. Marcus's wife is surprised to hear this. Now those voices had become even more terrible for Marcus. He was looking for his real identity. One day, Marcus cuts his face because of those voices, to make his new identity, and tells his son I want to make you a brave soldier, who will never be afraid of anyone. But this child was not interested in these things. Mother Robot is shown to us, which goes to Mithraic's spaceship to get herself repaired. There she starts taking alien blood from a broken robot. That is white liquid. During this time she feels something in her stomach. Mother was about to become a mother again. But now she needed red blood to stay alive. She starts killing an animal and drinking its blood. In the camp, a child sees that the father had sent a message. He was feeling that maybe the people of Mithraic, have changed the father's program, and this is all because of it. Here Marcus also did not want that campion. Mother's son. His son should keep any friendship with him. But one day, when he comes to Campion. Then Marcus sees him, and scolds him a lot. Marcus also locks his wife, because he had come to know, that his wife wants to run away with his son, and all the Mithraic here start worshipping him, because they felt that Marcus's wife has become an atheist. That girl who was about to become a mother, she reaches her while looking for the mother, but the mother shouts at that girl a lot here, and tells her to go, that the habit of mother's blood drinking, 
can't kill the girl, their campion who was caught by Marcus, according to the plan told by Marcus's son. He makes a tunnel and runs away, and all these children together set fire to the church of Mithraic. But Marcus feels that maybe this is a sign of the soul. He stands in front of him, and taking advantage of this, Marcus's wife takes all the children and runs away from here. At first, their plan was to run away in Marcus's spaceship. But it was damaged, that's why now they have to go through the way of the land. The father follows them, but he controls himself and lets them go. The mother who was in the spaceship, she wanted answers to all her questions. That's why she goes to the hibernation pot again. And now she goes to her memories and meets the big campion, who tells her that now she is going to be a mother. And her real mission has started now. Everything was just a drama at first. After knowing all this, the mother came back to her senses again. The girl who was going to be a mother. She also finds that man, who did wrong to her. That's why the mother also comes down immediately. That man always roams around with a severed head of his guard. Because he felt that if he got away from it, then his helmet will kill him. That's why the mother, who needed human blood, keeps this man with her, because of this, that man gets punished. And the mother gets that man's blood. Marcus also cuts a finger of the father in anger. The child who was with the father. He finds out that the first message given by the father. It was actually a sign from the father. To fix his program. That's why the child fixes him through the message again. The father had come back now. Marcus was thinking that how can he keep his son with him? How to bring him back? He thinks that only the soul can help him in this. That's why he goes to the big stone again in the desert. Campion was sitting with Marcus's son and talking. He was talking about those voices, which he could hear from that little dead child. On the other hand, the mother was in search of a safe place with that man, and the girl. So that he could properly give birth to his to-be-born child. He had found a safe place. But there were some strange cards there. The mother's children also reach her in search of her. Marcus's wife was also with them. The mother meets her children and is very happy. But suddenly becomes unconscious. At the behest of all the children, Marcus's wife treats the mother robot. Here Marcus reaches the mother's camp. There was the same child who had cured the father. He asks him where everyone is. To which he refuses. And says that I don't know who is where. That's why Marcus puts his hand on the stone to find out. In which there was the fire. But nothing happens to that child. It meant that he was telling the truth. He didn't know anything. When Marcus's wife was treating the mother in the cave. The mother looks at her and says. I know. You and Marcus are fake. Your identity is someone else. There the father and that child run away with his spaceship in the dark. Marcus gets very angry about this. And in anger. He strangles his soldier and kills him. Because it was his job to protect the spaceship. But he was sleeping at that time. Seeing this, all the Mitraics became enemies of Marcus. There the mother scanned the cards and reached a different world. Where she sees some men in black clothes. They were worshipping an alien statue. But when the mother was seeing this thought. During this time, the man who had done wrong to the girl. He tries to run away. And attacks the mother too. But during this time. The other girl stands in front of him and distracts him. And that girl throws his guard's head away. Because of this, this man's head is twisted. And he dies. It meant that he was right. That head was the reason for his death. Then here the father and the child who had cured the father. Both had reached here in the spaceship. When the father reaches here. Then he is very surprised to hear about the mother becoming a mother. First, he goes away in anger. But later he agrees. And says that he will also help her. Here Marcus's wife tells the mother, I can't be a mother. But yes, I will definitely help you. Marcus's son also started hearing those voices. Which was making him do wrong things. Those cards from which the mother had gone into the world of her thoughts. He burns it. So that no one knows about the truth. On the other hand, the truth of Marcus was also known to the people of Mithraic. That he is an imposter. They feed the stolen eyes of the mother to kill him. So that he dies. But he was still alive. How could Marcus was going to die so soon? We see that the mother now goes to a safe place to give birth to the child. The same place that she had seen in her dream with the help of those cards. But the father and the rest of the people were thinking that this place is not safe. But the mother was sure that this place is absolutely fine. The voices that Marcus's son heard. The soul told him that this place is absolutely fine for them. And this child is also being born because of the soul. But Campion was jealous of the fact that, 
The mother is considering this child the most special. But the mother tells the father all the truth. She says that even I don't know how all this is happening to me. But yes, I definitely know this. Our real mission has now begun. The father gets angry at this and leaves. When Marcus's wife takes the test of the mother robot, she says that your child is growing fast. And very soon it will come into the world too. He is the most powerful. On the other hand, Marcus's son reaches a cave, where he sees a drawing in which a snake and a spaceship were made. Was he telling the whereabouts of the future or something else? On the other hand, Marcus, who was still alive, had a strange mark on his body. But he was still thinking that the soul is showing him the way. And while following a spaceship, he reaches the skeleton of a snake. It means, there was a story of a snake too. Here his son who was throwing the parts of the spaceship in a pit. Then Marcus's wife comes there and asks, what are you doing? He says that the soul has told me that this place is safe, and we will not go anywhere from here. But his mother says, son, all these are just words, there is not a soul. But his son pretends to understand. But he was going to do something new. At night, the mother comes to a pit and tells her creator, what do I have to do next? What will I have to do with this child? Then the same jumping man comes there, but the father had also reached there and the mother kills him with a single punch. When the father removes his mask, he was an alien. He gets a human skull from his bag, but it was not of a man living on the earth, it was of a man of some other planet. There Marcus's wife found out that the mother would soon become a mother. And if her child is not born now, then he can die. Marcus's son had also come to know the truth now. The soul had told him that your parents are not real, they are imposters. That's why he shoots his mother. Now she was injured, so she could not go to the mother. She sends the children to take. The mother had also reached a cave, where she sees the statue of the same alien, that she had seen in her dream through the cards. When she was seeing all these things, then her child was about to be born. But after a lot of pain, the child of the mother robot starts coming out of her mouth. And he was not a human, but a snake. A flying snake. As soon as it comes out, its android starts drinking blood. That is, the white liquid coming out of its body. Then the other children of the mother had also come there. But now she hides this child from everyone. It was clear that when they came to this planet, the snakes were following them. There was a kingdom of snakes here. And the voices that Marcus and his son were hearing were also the voices of these snakes. The mother understood everything. The mother understood why all this happened to her. When she went to her old memories in the hibernation pod, someone took over her mind. And the same thing was that Marcus's son was also spoiling the spaceship. He knew that when this snake will be born, it will need human blood. That's why everyone will stay here due to the destruction of the spaceship. Everyone will get stuck. And that snake can easily drink everyone's blood. The mother sees the snake that was growing very fast. If she wanted to save her children's lives, then she takes that snake with the father and goes to a hole in the spaceship. Where there was burning lava. She wanted to go to that lava and kill this snake with her. When Campion sees this, he shouts a lot. At the last moment of the mother and father, all her children's memories were coming in front of them. He was sure that after his death, Campion, humanity's new leader will become a healer. On the other hand, Marcus, who was alive, sees some atheists in the jungle. And after leaving one of them, kills everyone else. He takes out a device from his ear and tells all the atheists that no atheist will come here. Soul has forbidden everyone. I am now the king of this planet. But then a spaceship appears there, which belonged to the atheist. There were the mother and father who had gone to the lava. But on the other hand, their spaceship comes out in the perfect condition. And the flying snake had also left from here. The drawing that Marcus's son had seen, a spaceship, alien, flying snake, it was all true now. All the children of the mother felt that the father and mother are dead. After this, everyone looks at Campion, after their death, all the responsibility was now of Campion. With this, the season ends here.